So let's take a look at the uh, Makos. It's a HD webcam. It's a USB out. It says 4K. As you can see, it's 3840 by 2160 4K resolution. Um, this is a digital industrial camera. It's got a CS mount 5 to 50 millimeter telephoto lens. Um, it's zoom and manual focus and manual aperture. So you got some options there. Uh, gives you quite a bit of control with it. As far as I understand in OBS, uh, there's a lot more options with pan, zoom, uh, white balance. Um, yeah, quite a few. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this thing unboxed and see what it comes with. And then later we'll get it hooked up and see, see what that's going to look like. Okay, so uh, the box uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's fairly light. Um, looking at the back of the box here, it's got quite a few different uh, resolutions. Let me get this uh, cellophane plastic off here. That way, I'm gonna get rid of some of this glare. Maybe. Woo! All right. There we go. There's the box. Pretty, not much, not much to tell there. And let's see, let's see what we got in here. Oh no, this is gonna be another one of those unboxings where I can't get into the box. Oh dear. It's, oh, oh, I got lucky. <laughs> the sleeve came off this time. Last time I had to cut it off and look like a complete moron. All right, so there's the USB cable. It looks like it's a USB three, USB, ah, uh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, so as you can see here, the cord is this long <laughs> it's a three meter cable and what else do we got in here Ooh, we got a customer service card hopefully we don't need that we've got a user's manual let's see what's in there uh give us our frame rates and resolutions looks like frame rates uh for the most part is if you're in a MPEG, um, it's going to be 30 frames per second. And you've got from 4K all the way down to 640 by 360. Um, for what we need and for probably uh, webcam use and product review or um, podcasts, uh, we're obviously going to be doing 4K or maybe just... Uh, Maybe 1080p. 1080p is probably good enough for uh, like a podcast. Um, the reason why I think you want to drop lower than that for like the 640 and 380. Um, maybe if you're doing some machine vision, um, which this is an industrial cam camera. So I'm going to guess the uh, build on this should be pretty solid and it should last many, many years. So let's see. get this little guy out of here. Yep, it's a nice, it's a metal body. Um, the only thing on the back is just USB. And you got your mounts so you can hook it up to a tripod. Or, uh, yeah, whatever you want. And uh, little lens cover. And this is, I do believe, using, using a uh, Sony sensor. So that should be good quality. Got our uh, aperture, um, focus, and our zoom, telephoto. And these all do lock. Oh yeah, nice little industrial camera. 
So right now what I'm doing to record um, podcasts and product reviews is I'm using these uh, Panasonic Lumix cameras. So this little guy, 4K, um, obviously not all of the options that you would have with a uh, full camera, bridge camera like this, but obviously I don't need all the options that has uh, this. I just need it to look good, focus, and uh, yeah, obviously a little zoom action. Uh, other than that, yeah, if it's 4K and I've got some depth of film, um, this uh, $95 versus uh, three or four of these guys at uh, four to $500, um, yeah, that's a big difference. So yeah, um, we'll call it quits for this and I will get this hooked up and we'll, we'll unbox something stupid just to see, look, I got this little USB guy, so maybe that's what we'll unbox. Uh, we'll do something, you know, put this, put this to the test, see what it looks like. Thanks.